Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Emrys here. In this video, I'm going to talk about why Origins and Mind of the Dead are the best zombies maps that we have gotten in Black Ops 2, and give you some reasons why, and why maybe these maps might be hated by some simpler, not as good zombies players. Because you know the community, there's either there's the top zombies players, like relaxing and in that, get the high round of solo, those type of zombie players. Then you have the people that play with their friends, you know, get like round 30, 4 player with their friends. And then you have the shit zombie players, the ones that, you know, are satisfied with round 20, you know. They don't have, you know, that much skill. But a map like Origins Mob of the Dead, they're very, they have a high replayability value. Because you can you can build a golden sport, you can build it, you get golden sport, hell retriever, blunder gap, acid kit, um, what else is there on that map? You have acid kit, blunder gat, and then you ha you could, you know, make those four different weapons. You could have the regular blunder gat, the acid gat, the sweeper, the trog withering. It was a bunch of different things you could do to make the game different each time. And then on Origins, you got the four different stats, which is like, if you add up all the wonder weapons on the map, you count the stats as two different ones. You could say that there's ten wonder weapons on this map, which is crazy. You can use the four unupgraded, the four upgraded, the ray gun mark two, and the regular ray gun, which makes the map very diverse. You can use a bunch of different things. And then you got the generators that you have powered, open pack punch. You can get the thunder fist, you can, um, you have to get the disc and the staff parts and build those, and then you can go do the challenges and you can teleport to the crazy place and you know get all your riddles solved it gives a different element to the game a different challenging element to the game which um good zombie players like they like when there's stuff they like when the, when they think about like what are we going to do next they don't like to say like what are we going to do now cuz like a map's like buried in that you just get your points buy all your perks round 1 you're set you have nothing else to do you know you've accomplished everything on that map and then we're going to talk about Black Ops 1 maps. Black Ops 1 maps may be very loved by the community because they're so simple. Maps like Kino and Ascension don't require any talking. You really could play those maps with deaf people and you could get to a high round because they don't require any communication. Like, these maps require communication. And th that's what I really think that's why these maps suffer in the public maps because people don't really play these maps in public maps. So you invite their friends so they can talk. And when you play public match, usually you don't get very good players, and it just kind of becomes a fiasco because they're the simple zombies players that just don't play these maps that much and they're not that good at them. But I, stand before you. I really like in Moon and Black Ops One. Okay, that's a good map. Is that like Moon's a good map? I didn't really like it that much myself, but it's very it's a very cool map. You know, go to the moon, te you teleport, you know, pack punch. I didn't like the concept of Jug not being on the map. Just a pet peeve of mine. And I didn't like how when you jumped, your gravity could throw you into the zombies. And I'm not a huge fan of the, uh, the moon man, the little astronaut man. He's always grabbing you and headbutting you. And then, maps like Shangri-La. Shangri-La is a very challenging map. Didn't, I, I started to get into the zombies probably about Ascension in uh, Black Ops 1. I, um, I was big in multiplayer. I really just, you know, I only play multiplayer. And I wouldn't play zombies. I just wouldn't do it. But then I remember my friends when uh, they told me to go play Doris. So we went and played Doris, and I started really liking that map. So I expanded out to the other maps, and I really liked where they've gone with Black Ops 2 Zombies. Not Transit, no, not that map. They've really, they've really done good with these maps. More like more of the campaign team. Because I'm sorry, the Zombies team has kind of been subpar for a while. I mean, their maps have been, you know, mediocre. They haven't really made any, you know, rememberable classic maps. I mean, I think everyone agrees with me on that. They wouldn't say the diaries are buried, are classic maps. But and what makes those maps not classic are the the unnecessary things in them, the and the lack of of what you have to do in that game. There's nothing to do, and they're very dull looking maps. Like Origins and Mob of the Dead are very cool. They're in a different era. They're in you know a prison, or they're in like trenches in World War One. They have a cool element to them. But diaries and buried, they're like you know. An underground ghost town, which is, sounds cool, but it's not. It's not really kind of boring. And the characters. The characters kind of make the maps. The new crew just didn't have that. It just wasn't cool. Like, you didn't feel like you were a badass killing zombies. Like, I think you, everyone else would rather play as Dempsey than play as Stoolinger because they weren't. I mean, Dempsey's way cooler. I mean, those characters just lacked a likability because they just lacked cool factor. They didn't have anything to offer. Their story was shit. They didn't have anything to do. The Easter eggs for those maps were really bad. And, you know, I think I've come to the end of what I was going to talk about here, but 
I hope you guys agree with me that Ordin and Mob that are the two best maps. If you don't, leave a comment in the section of what leave a comment in the comment section of what two maps you think are the best in Black Ops 2. But I really don't think someone will give me a lot of argument on this unless you're not very good at zombies and you don't like the challenge of building the plane or you know, opening a pack bunch of generators, but I'm done here guys. I am Emrays and I am out.